Hi guys, in the previous video about installing Windows 38 on a new modern hardware, I promised if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will film another video where I will try to install MS-DOS on a new modern PC. Windows 38 video gets almost 10,000 likes, so today we will try to find out is it possible to install MS-DOS on a new modern hardware. Let's go. We have the same PC as before, it's Intel i9-9900K, 32GB of RAM, MSI Z390 motherboard and 2K LG monitor with 144Hz rate. The most attentive of you might notice that in the previous Windows 8 video I've already get into DOS. The point is, MS DOS is already built in Windows 8 image. And Windows 8 boot sequence was based on MS DOS. It means that we can run MS-DOS on a new modern PC. But the question is, will it work properly? Let's find out. One of the latest versions of MS-DOS is 7.1. Let's try and install it. We can use any USB flash drive. To write the image, I was using Win32 Disk Manager. OK, let's open boot menu by pressing F11. Selecting USB and the error message appears. Memory allocation error. If you were watching Windows 98 video, you should remember that we also had a memory error. We have solved it using a special driver called XMGR. Let's try to use it on MS-DOS. The integration is simple. First, you need to open MS-DOS ISO directory with Total Commander. Then, you need to find config.sys, open it with notepad and type device equals xmgr.sys. Saving changes and trying to boot again. And oh my god. It works. Nice. Welcome to MS-DOS setup. It's unusual to see MS-DOS on a modern large display. What is most surprising, my keyboard and my mouse, which are connected to USB 3.2 port, are working well. I'm sure that MS-DOS doesn't have any USB 3.2 drivers. I think this is possible thanks to modern BIOS. Funny, during Windows 8 setup, my mouse was getting nuts, but MS-DOS doesn't have any problem with that. OK, let's press Next. Confirm the agreement. MS-DOS will now check the partitions on your hard drivers. OK, let's do it. That file system is not active. I don't think MS-DOS will be able to work in on NTFS file system, so I had to create FAT partition on my test SSD using a built-in Windows utility called Disk Part. And of course, partition table must be MBR, not GPT. Make it active. Do you want to rewrite the MBR code? Yes. It looks like it determines my SATA SSD, but how it can be possible? Does MS-DOS have SATA drivers? I know it's possible if you switch SATA to IDE mode in BIOS, but my BIOS doesn't have this feature. It has only legacy mode. OK, we are lucky. Next, do you want to create it? Yes. To make the full installation, you will need the second disk. To avoid wasting time, I will choose DAS commands only, one disk. Next, next, and the setup begins. It is asking us to install add-ons. Skip. Would you like the DAS start logo to be shown? Yes, I want to see it on a large screen. Create a DAS startup log file? Yes. By choosing enable UMB memory, you will not be able to load MS-DAS. You must choose don't load. It asking to load a CD or DVD driver. We don't need it, so don't load. Use default keyboard layout. Congratulations, you have completed MS-DOS 7.10 installation. Enjoy it. You must restart your system. Yes. Now I'm choosing my test SSD with MS-DOS and a giant logo appears. It looks nice. It loaded successfully. Now the question is, can it correctly work in and run old games on a modern PC? Let's find out. First, I've tried to check my PC specs using a program called AIDA16. It's an old version of AIDA64 or Everest, but this error message appears. I will solve this problem later. Now we'll try to run Doom. Whoa, it looks so great on a modern display. It's working well, but we don't have a sound. This is not surprising, because MS-DAS doesn't have modern sound drivers. It's no big deal, we can use a PC speaker. To change sound output, we need to start setup, choose sound effects card and choose PC speaker. Then save parameters and run Doom. And now you can hear the sounds. Nice. OK, what about another great old game? Blood.
I didn't believe the game would start, but it's working. It freezes sometimes, but it can be played. Even my keyboard and my mouse are working well. Incredible. Let's try Commander King 1, but the error message appears, out of memory. What about Commander King 2? The same message. Commander King 3? Same. Commander King 4. The starting menu loads successfully, but a flickering green screen appears. Let's try to run another old game, Lines. And the same green screen. Trying to run Duke Nukem. The error message appears, not enough memory to run Duke Nukem. Also, I have Duke Nukem 3D. Oh, and it's working fine. Like blood. Do you remember Wolfenstein 3D? Oh, you don't have enough memory to run the game. And the game with one of the most complicated keyboard controls, Prince of Persia. It's working well. Also, you can hear a PC speaker. When I was 6 and playing Prince of Persia 2 on my old PC, it was impossible for me to jump on the boat and pass this level, because this goddamn game has a very difficult mechanics and keyboard controls. But the game is great. Ok, it was one of the latest versions of MS-DOS. MS-DOS support ended on December 31, 2001. There is another operating system called FreeDOS. It's a free version of operating system that supports MS-DOS software. You can download it from official site. Link will be in the description. It has support today, so let's try to run programs which we cannot run on OG MS-DOS. You can flash the image using Rufus. Booting from USB, setup begins. Choose language. Do you want to partition your drive? Yes, but be careful. You must be sure this is not one of your SSDs or hard disks, because this section can erase all your data. Do you want to use large disk support? Yes, create DOS partition. He recognized my SSD. Format disk D. Choose language. Full installation. Next, next, next. And the setup begins. Reboot. I choose my SSD. That's all, now we are in FreeDOS. The commands are the same as in MS-DOS. Let's check system specs using AIDA16. Now it's working well. CPU type Intel i9-9900K, motherboard name unknown, go next, RAM, it can see only 2GB of memory. GPU, it can see only 16MB of memory, but we have GTX 1080 here. Hard disks, modem not found. If I try to run Wolfenstein 3D, it works fine in FreeDOS, which cannot be said about MS-DOS. But with Commander King, we have the same issue – green screen. Oh, I almost forgot about first version of GTA. Let's try to run it. But we have failed again. Of course, we can run it using a program called DOSBox. That's how it looks. Great memories. So. To sum up, incredible, but you can use MS-DOS on a modern hardware almost without issues. As you can see, it can run almost every old game with no problems. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will try to install Windows 1 and Windows 2 on a new modern PC. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.